Uh, it was Mother's Day last year, it's 23. Uh, right about this part of the garage, I was running my first CNC, it was a small one, and you know, I had a hole cut up in the ceiling where I had my dust collector, and also I had my lift right there. And I'm sitting there cutting away, and all of a sudden, out of the corner of my eye, I see flames shooting out. Shit. Uh, run out the whole the hose wasn't on yet, so I quick ran downstairs, turned on you know turned the uh, valve on, came back up, turned the hose on outside. There's no end on, it, and I have the quick releases, so water still wasn't coming out. By this time, black smoke's just rolling out of the garage. I mean, rolling out of it. Within minutes, the Hastings Police Department was here, and you know proceeded to put it out. Then uh, I was given two options by the building department. I could keep it at eight foot uh, ceilings. I could tear it all down and start over and go with 10 foot walls, or I could get a structural engineer to approve my plan as far as how I wanted to make the walls taller. So I tore it down. Hey, if you want a beer, if you want a beer, and all of this was all the crap that I had acquired throughout the years. So we had two pods, a tent, two trailers full of stuff. So normally when someone says remove something, they mean remove it, like get rid of it. No, not in this situation. That was, or this scenario I should say. It was remove it and then remove it and then move it again, then remove it.
when rebuilding, I decided I wanted to go with room and attic trusses and scissor trusses. So I was going to have my uh, lift back in that third stall, but I bought a lift on Black Friday and uh, it ended up being a scam. But I, before I found that out, I sold my other one. And um, so I decided, all right, I don't want a lift.
So it's day 100 since the fire. Just got home from work. Feel a little discouraged, and here's why. Not for how quiet the garage doors are, because that's amazing. Here's why. <laughs> I'm not so sure that's the best place to start for bringing stuff back into the garage. It's day 100. Let's take a tour. Is this going to be a better place to start? Hmm. I don't know if you can see in there, but in one of those bins, in one of those bins is all the stuff for the rapid air. So I can finish running my airlines. Less than ideal. So there's that. Uh, how about the doors? Over the weekend, fix the lawn from both. Trenching and driving over with the lull. Tilled all that this weekend. That was fun. Ooh, what could be inside the tent? That was my back wall of the garage. Some of the drawers were damaged from water sitting in them forever. I don't know what wall I'm going to put them on. Oh. Yeah. During all of this, I was also dealing with um, what at the time I thought was long COVID, what ended up being uh, pulmonary hypertension. So I got out of breath extremely easily. Like I'd go to grab the ladder, I'd have to grab the ladder, take a break, climb up the ladder, take a break, and then do what I was gonna do on the ladder, then take a break and then come down. It made rebuilding the garage uh, difficult to say the least. Uh, it was a Monday morning, I had my CNC right down where I had the old one and I'm like, I know, I'll build the mezzanine. 
I'll put the CNC up there, and then I can park the Datsun underneath it. By Tuesday afternoon, I had all the lumber moved, that built, and the CNC up there. Um, come up with an idea, you usually don't think about it too much, and just go with it. You know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, I reclaimed a lot of the material. Um, the, for example, the ceiling that's in here now is the ceiling that was in the garage before. So these came from, uh, I believe, what, what middle school up in Edina. But I got out there just, I mean, the dumpster f was full of these things. I'm like, okay, sure, I'll bring them home. I think I brought home, I don't know, maybe a hundred or so of them. And, uh, well then, you know, they don't really stack well. So I made this thing and I've, I've made these things so damn many times and every time, I don't know what I keep doing, but they barely open. You know, they, they're too close to each other, but they work. These drawer slides, I got it from, uh, most things around here from a dumpster. Um, the big drawer slides are as well. They can hold the weight, but there's a little too much weight and a little too little clearance. So it binds on this one, but oh, this one rolls much better. I, I was a union finished carpenter and this, I drive this right up into the side of my van and you'll know, pull up in a job site and you know, anytime there's like a elevator operator, because there usually is on the jobs I'm working on, and it's so funny listening to them because like, you know, every single person that gets in this elevator is talking about that toolbox. I'm like, yeah, I know, I, I hear that all the time. Uh, I had one job tell me, you can't, you can't ride it. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. I'll walk alongside of it, whatever. And then they're like, you have to disengage your motors. I'm like, no, I don't. I'll leave. So you want me to leave? You don't want me to be efficient? I'm gone. Well, just don't let anyone see you. Okay, that's what I thought. But... Everything I need is right in that toolbox. I pull up and I don't know if you've ever seen uh, Pulp Fiction. It's like I'm the wolf. You're Jimmy, right? This is your house? Sure is. I'm Winston Wolf. I solve problems. If you need something done, shit gets done. I don't need your tools. I don't need your guidance. I just show up and hammer shit out. So I have to give a shout out to a few people. Number one, Providence House. Uh, there's quite a few people from down there that uh, helped me out quite a bit. Um, of course, Chief, a.k.a. Micah, and uh, Sean Motes, and Mayday Restoration. Without them, this garage project wouldn't have happened as it did. Um, but <laughs> when we, we were swinging the trusses, we get the first bunch up there, and... I'm up in the trusses while Sean's running the lull, and Chief and I think Diego were helping bring the truss up. I end up getting a heat stroke. I'm damn near made it, barely made it to the ground before I started uh, vomiting. And th thankfully, they kept on putting the trusses up. So that was a nice thing. 